Hey guys, so I got my hands on the Eagle 4.3 version and I want to compare it to the 16.9 version which I've had for a little while. I've got a freeze frame from um, the Ether 4.3 right now on the screen. As you can see I've um, pointing a couple arrows here at these trees on the left and the right and this is sort of denoting the extent of the horizontal field of view. So when I compare that to the freeze frame from the 16.9 camera you can see that the image is stretched, um, but the field of view is the same. You can see I'm, I'm standing in the exact same spot, pointing the camera in the same direction, and trying to keep the horizon about the same spot. And you can see that the two trees are in about the same location in terms of where they are on the video screen. However, if you also notice here that the um, the top and the bottom, the vertical field of view is quite a bit narrower than the 4.3 version. So here I'll go back to the 4.3 version here. You can see the, the vertical field of view is quite a bit more than on the 16.9. So unless you have a particular reason to get the 16.9 version, say for example if you've got the uh, Fat Shark Dominator V3s with the 16.9 uh, aspect ratio, I would probably just go ahead and stick with the 4.3 camera and uh, the having the additional field of view on the vertical axis is going to be pretty valuable for those uh, people that want to do a lot of camera up tilt so that you can still see the ground when you're taking off and landing and uh, it just gives a better image overall in terms of uh, more information on the screen when you're flying. So um, hopefully Runcam will come out with something a little bit different, maybe a different lens with the actual field of view, instead of being sort of cropped on the top and bottom, is actually expanded to the size, left and the right, so you can actually get more information. So it would actually get a, maybe they'll come up with a, a different sensor with a higher resolution uh, sensor, for example, that will capture more information in a bigger lens that'll uh, widen up the, the field of view. I think that would be, uh, would be interesting to see if they can come up with that in, in the future. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to uh, put, put a little bit of flight video here from the 4.3 camera and another flight from the 16.9 camera just so you guys can get a sense of what it feels like uh, in flight. Now it is going to be kind of hard to tell because uh, you know it depends on the equipment that you're looking at the video through whether you know whether you have a 4.3 goggle or a 16.9 goggle or or screen for example so but you know take it for what it's worth and just uh, get an idea what the uh, video looks like in terms of the field of view for the two different types of cameras and their flights. So I'll go ahead and roll that video. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Slow down.